Hello guys and welcome to this Red Shadow Legends video. Today I'm going to show you a video about the new Hydra. This is actually the nerfed Hydra because I waited until the nerf that happened um, yesterday. So, um, before this, uh, my best key on this is hard difficulty, um, the second difficulty you could say. Um, my best key was about... Uh, three maybe four million damage so my team is like this uh, duchess lydia fergus uh, ninja over there uh, coronar and Sh uh, inquisitor shamel so as you see only really two damage dealers here Sh i mean i know um, uh, inquisitor shamel can do some damage if you build him uh, with damage but i didn't personally so all right so in the start of the battle, I never used Duchess's um, um, AOE lock debuffs veil ability because that uh, when people are on the whale, uh, they will not receive fear. And when you have a Shamel on your team, you actually want to uh, get the fear because he will remove it instantly. Look at that, A1. He will remove it instantly and give turn meter boost to your leader. And what I chose to do was put Ninja in the lead. This way he will get the most turns possible and basically do hail burn and a lot of damage a lot of the time. Uh, Coronar, he is the resistant uh, resistance tank. Um, he is getting a lot of buffs from uh, Vergus. I built him very slow and in region gear I believe I had to do. So. Yeah, I still use A1 until I actually receive too much damage. So Vergus, uh, he places, um, as you see, ally protection and a lot of uh, buffs. Um, so yeah, he is basically my protector on this team. Um, he is my kind of experimental build, you could say. So yeah, uh, I, uh, Coronar actually does a bunch of damage with his A1 because he has a chance of proccing. Um, what do you call it? War Master on every single enemy he hits. And he will counter attack whenever he is hit. Look at that, 30,000 damage uh, War Master procs. Pretty good. Now, let me skip forward a bit. Um, well, as you will see that Ninja actually gets a lot of turns. Boom. This buff didn't even expire, but now he has that. Other protection. And you will see that Vergus is extremely tanky. Normally, ally protect champions, they are usually in trouble whenever they try to tank this much damage, but Vergus can actually do it. I don't think I saw him die. I think he's the last one to die, I think, actually. So yeah, he is insane as an ally protector. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can receive some big hits and see how much damage Vergus is gonna take. With ally protection, can we do that, maybe? Skip uh, some forward. Okay, looks like yeah, taking a big hit. Look at that, he heals a lot. He does not even drop below 50% health, because if he did, he will receive a continuous heal on himself. But he has not even done that. That's cool, wait, why didn't... Oh yeah. They tried to devour Coronar, they devoured him. And then I have to do this set. The strong thing now is that Ninja, he will get a lot of turn meter boost. So I guess I will aim one there, yeah. Even more turn meter boost because I want Ninja, Ninja to take as many turns as possible now because he needs to kill, well, rock this head and give him back corner. Pretty much. Alright, so I eventually I got, um, I got corner back. Let's see here. Ninja is a little actually close to dying. But uh, now he'll heal, look at that. Oh, nice. And... Coroner is back. Yeah, boy. Alright, let's skip forward. Now, I have 5 million damage now. But when you see the head starts dying, the damage actually kind of skyrockets. Skyrockets. Even though I don't have a, you know, heavy, pure physical damage dealer, you know. I only have mostly health, burns, and stuff like that. Okay, I started to receive a lot of damage. 
no, that's not why I did that. I did that because this head, the fair head, is dead. That's when I started to use the AoE veil stuff. Look at this. Look at the damage. Starting to ramp up. Yeah, keep uh, keeping in us tank anyways. Now, the mo two most annoying heads is dead. In my opinion, so let's keep it. Look at that. 1 million damage in 30 seconds. 600,000 damage in the next. So yeah, whenever the head died, I got a lot of damage. So okay, they actually stole the buff from Coronar. And he has over 400 resistance. I will show the build and stuff of this. Yeah. We eventually slowly did some damage. I think we barely didn't get... Yeah, look at this. Uh, we, we got uh, some incredible bad luck here, but... Did we get Ninja back? No, we didn't. Duchess, did we get her back? I guess not. Yeah, we lacked a little bit of damage. So... Yeah, maybe if I rebuild people, I will actually be able to release Ninja and Duchess here and live even longer, but... I didn't at this time, but again, as you will see, I reached my highest key ever. Burgess is still alive. He's still protecting. He has all protection on everyone. And, um, yeah, okay, let's take a look at the screen now. I ended up doing 10 million damage on hard. That's my best by far. Uh, Ninja did the most damage because he was a lead. He got the Terminator boost and did a lot of health burns. I'm not sure if he is actually the best damage today for this, but... Pretty good. Duchess, um, she, look at this. Is this the damage taken? Wait, wait. A only eighteen thousand. Yeah, look at this. Only eighteen thousand damage taken. What? Because when you get hit while you have a shield, it doesn't actually count. So, because she only a one, she never. <laughs> Take took damage. She only died to the, the devourer mechanic. I hated the devourer mechanic. Burgess, look at him as well. He was the ally protection tank. And he took less damage than all of these guys because he permanently gets a shield when he gets hit. Uh, so yeah, incredible. Kormar took the most damage. Um, yeah, that makes sense. He was the steel target and stuff. But yeah, but that's actually perfect because we want him to get hit. And then he will counterattack. And yeah, most of this damage is purely from War Master Prox. So, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Maybe I can switch something around and get a better team than this, but I'm really happy with this terminal damage. So, my second team, I wanted to get the rest to get the, you know, to get the new key because I needed 13.6, but I was not able to do that uh, because I didn't bother too much, anyways. Well, yeah, this team here is actually very interesting. So, uh, this is against the normal head. Uh, mine, um, I can usually do about 10 million damage, but that is using the Duchess team and, you know, my best team that I have. But this time around, I think that, yeah, yeah let's try three damage dealers. In Nithui, he has my best damage care, so I wanted to try him. Ray, pretty good build, does a lot of damage, AoE, A1, and stuff like that. Tranda with a my best immunity damage dealer. Then yeah, I don't know if Brogni actually actually did much, but alright. So I did some big hits, uh, people doing a lot of damage. Boom, look at that. Six hundred thousand damage. A with leech, boom. So you will see that only with three basically three AoEs, this head is almost dead. And if you have decapitated a head before, you know that they take increased damage uh, by hits and yeah, like by a lot, I would say. Now let's see if Ray can proc the head. Yeah, the Ferret's head is annoying. If I had a Shamel, he would be better than Brogni, I believe. Okay, this head is dead. Let's see. I wanted to, because he was Ferret, look at 100,000 damage per hit. Do I kept it head? Be good. I was really unlucky with the fair procs this time, but uh, whatever I did, a lot, of, a lot of damage. You will see in a moment how much damage I actually did. And a couple of hits that did insane damage towards capitated heads is actually OP, I would say. <laughs> Unless A1, yeah, fair proc. Look at this damage, boom, boom. 
240 damage, 282 damage, what the hell. Even Brogny, he's in a damage build though, but still doing 200,000 damage. Look at this. Boom. This is without the defense. 1 million damage with Inith We A2 against the Decapitated Head. Missing. Not head is back. Let's skip forward a little bit. Maybe 30 seconds. Yeah, about, about here. We are only on 5 million damage. We need about 6 million damage. You see, my champions are getting kind of low. Boom. The head is dead. Beautiful. And use A2, probably. No. We. Wait, what? Somehow. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, block debuffs does not block the fear debuff. I think that's pretty annoying, but what can I do, right? Boom. Soon you will see some insane damage whenever the head started to die. Skip 30 seconds, maybe? Okay, 30 seconds more. Okay, now. The head is starting to die. I'll A1 head, try to get a weak enough in this time. 6 million damage. Unlucky fair. Okay, can we do. Oh. Okay, skip that. Anyway, I skip 30 seconds. Okay, something happened here. Okay, now. We killed this head, and now there is two decapitated heads. And look at this damage star right here. Mil 1 million damage. The most important now. I A2, a decapitated head. That means. Uh, her ability is the damage you do, 60% um, of the damage you do is also dealt to the other heads. Since you do that damage to a decapitated head, the damage is a lot higher, so the 60% is a lot higher. And that damage actually scales towards this head, because this takes additional damage. So let's see what this do. I do it on a weak hit, well, no, not on a weak hit, on a wrong affinity, but I was lucky. Look at this. Boom. 573,000 damage against um, this decapitated head, but against this one, 1 million damage. And 700,000 damage against this one, this head actually died. So in total I did 2.5 million damage with one trunk by A2. It's kind of insane. Absolutely insane. Now there's three dead heads. Um, would be a better time using it this time, but you know, they will revive eventually and stuff. Okay, boom, a lot of damage. And soon you will actually see, uh, whenever he's getting back to his A2 ability, you will see how much damage Inethwe is gonna do with his A2 against a decapitated head with Deaker's defense. It's insane. Can we see that? Yeah, 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 take your time, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay, let's take a look at this damage. A2 against the decapitated head with 500,000 damage times 3. Deacus Stephen and Weekend, one and a half a million damage, A2. Not far from Trondar, in a way. So yeah, ridiculous damage, pretty far to see. Yeah, I ended up doing only, yeah, but, but only. I mean, that's my highest damage ever on normal. I don't know, it's a surprising team. Yeah, I struggled a little bit here um, because of the heads from the dying and my champions died and devour whatever. More turns is Gonzalez. I ended up dealing 17 million damage. Okay, so I'll take a look at this. I'm actually surprised that Initwi was dealing so much more damage than Ray, even though she has all AoEs. Initwi almost has one AoE because of his A2 against the Gavidated Heads. And actually, you know, bursting down one head to deal capitated damage is really strong as well. Tronda, most damage because of that two and a half million damage A2 hits. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Brogni, two million damage. He's in the damage build, so makes sense. Pretty nice. After this, I did a hard run, I think. And um, I, or if I did it earlier, I didn't get the 30 million damage because I only did that two million damage. Because I, yeah, whatever. All right, now I will show you. Um, yeah, show you what I got from the Hydra, and um, I will show some builds after this. 
All right, let's start with the hard head, uh, hard difficult thing. I think we actually finished this because then I'm in a better clan. This this reset, yeah, times two. Yeah, these are the most important ones: the Hydra, my Mithrala fragments. All this very nice. Let's take a look. The piece resistance and uh, garbage. Uh, nothing I want. Only blue garbage. Okay, Some epic stuff. I have a glow glove. I don't think this will be useful. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, this one has potential as triple speed or something. At least it's defense here on a protection set that we really kind of want. Um, and damage, pure damage on a protection. We probably don't want that, but let's skip it because why not? All right, let's see here. Ooh. Better gear than oh, okay. Six star epic chest. I need this to be something good. <laughs> I really want a resistance main stat chest for my cardinal to increase my resistance even more. Let's take a look at this first one. Okay, potential triple resistance, triple accuracy. Cool. Triple resistance, triple speed, crit damage. Okay, so this is actually a decent damage piece for a nuker. Okay, let's see the chest plate. Good. Okay, but you know what? I'm gonna use a chaos or on this right away. Not even roll. Oh, whoa! That's two legendary pieces on a stone skin. This has good potential. Quad resist, and a lot of health. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, this is just not bad as well. Uh, main main stat health with speed and defense. Not bad. And a stone skin with health and defense. Pretty good for a pure. Okay, crash. All right. Can we actually just um, case or that specific piece right away? Probably didn't have space for it. Um. Oh shit. Um. I need something to sell. I'll sell. Uh. Oh, no, who cares? Can sell that. Then pick up the epic uh, chest and chaos or it because I need something good because I have very few chest plates as you will see. Yeah, with this, so few, incredible with you. Okay, rework. Oh shit! Really? On the legendary one. Who cares? It's for the video. Ah, I need a good main stat. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. I mean, you can just buy this with the, you know, with the angle, so it doesn't. It's not that big of a problem. Let's see. Fuck. Ah, shit. What? Okay, went from a flat stat to another flat stat. What the hell? Fuck me. All right, whatever. All right, let's look at the. Builds. This is the coronar. I built them in region because uh, why not? 100% crit, some crit damage, whatever. For 55 resistance, so this was really unlucky that I got resisted. Yeah. Some speed. Lydia in my guardian, really tanky and a little speed. Uh, Arbiter. I used her as well actually on one of the teams. In Ithwi, my best damage gear. Damage. Look at that. Um. I think I used Minaya or something, but he didn't see it, whatever. Um, mm. Right, I used Brogni, he's in a damage build for my clan boss. Actually, insane damage. Um, what else did he see? You saw Ray. Pretty good damage gear. Her base attack is not that insanely high, so getting the attack high is hard. But it's savage and a lot of good damage, so good damage build. My Duchess build, like this, a lot of health, defense, speed, resistance, that's what I want. Um, I use Madame Ceres, a lot of accuracy, speed. Um, do I forget someone? Yeah, I haven't shot Tranda yet. Yeah, this is my Vergus build that I built. Um, I try to get a lot of uh, health. Defense high as well, but as you saw on hard difficulty, 
he had no problems surviving easily. I think he was the last one dead. He only took, yeah, he was, took less damage than the other ones, even though he has ally protection all the time. I really want to build a um, web extender together with him so the ally protection is permanent. Um, yeah, anyways, trying to full damage in immunity. Immunity does nothing, obviously, for this, but yeah, pretty decent. Um, Shamel, I used him as well. Regen, health. Try to make him survive, that's it. I didn't go for any damage. So, yeah, that's it for this, my most important builds. Um, so, uh, yeah. So I'm happy with my stuff. Let's see how close am I actually to Rala. Oh. Two more weeks if I get a hard chest every week. Three for eight. Uh you know what? There is a potential that I can get them next week. If I still Okay, so because you always get two fragments from each chest, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I am in this clan, I can actually down the hard. And then if I do, oh shit, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> yeah, no, never mind. It's gonna take two weeks. I'm not gonna one, one key this damage unless I do something crazy in new build. But we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, with Rawa in a couple weeks. We good, yeah. Anyways, that's it for this video. Um, please like, subscribe if you have hydro problems. Uh, I can't help you. I have no clue what I'm doing. So yeah, that's it. Leave a like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.